Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. So glad you're here. I am very, very pleased to announce that I am going to be picking the medium and the colors and everything for this week's challenge. But this week's challenge, any medium, any color, but it has to be functional art. But um, I was going to do some bracelets and then I decided that I wanted to do something. Hello, who said that's Vinny? Who's that? Oh, I know. Anyhow, um, I decided I'm gonna do a little project in my kitchen. Okay. This is what I'm dealing with, with my countertops. It's not granite. It doesn't even look close to granite. And it has a bunch of flaws on it. Um, looks like where somebody had put something hot down. And there it is again. So I'm not gonna do the whole kitchen tonight. I'm gonna do this one countertop. This, oh, ooh, it's all wet there. What you wanna do is start out with crud cutter, something really good to get any, it's a good degreaser. And this one's kind of biodegradable, I think. Now, you know me in my test files. I couldn't uh, resist, but I think I'm gonna go something like this. So I'm taking through all the steps. And then the last step to clean is some alcohol. Just spray it with alcohol and that'll make sure everything's really good. Now I'm going to prime this. Um, you can get a specialty Bondo, Bondo primer. I'm just using Kills too. I looked it up, it said it was okay. All right guys, sorry about the lighting in here. Now we're gonna tape this up a little bit differently. This will come off because we don't have a backsplash here. So I don't mind that it comes right up to the edge, but we do have to where did I go? Oh, there it is. So I've got this on this side pretty well. And we're making a dam. And you have to make sure that it's stuck on there really good. Just to make sure it stays in there. So this particular piece is one foot by two foot. So that is uh, two square feet. And so we need five ounces per square foot. So I'm gonna mix up my resin. The, uh, I'm trying a new resin today. It's called J Diction. AB. Usually after two hours, you would take the tape off and let it flow down on the sides. So you do want to have a ventilated area. I do have the um, windows open. Um, it should be at 72, 74 degrees for proper curing. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, so I've already marked my container. Uh, 300 mil is approximately 10 ounces. So I marked 150 mil and then up to three mil, 300. And these are, I love these containers. Fluid oh, Co. <laughs> so you want to stir it for a good three to five minutes. Do, 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 do. And then these are really convenient with the spout, I'm hoping. All right. All right, this looks good. You wanna wipe your stick off. Make sure you get around the edges and at the bottom. Scrape the edges, scrape them up and down.
Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So, she's Louise. I'm just going to put the resin in here first and then put the additives in. You're only supposed to add 10%, up to 10%. That's going to be the black. That's going to be the white. I don't want a whole lot of white. And then these are the colors. Let's make a mess. As Nikki puts it, let's get messy. Let's get messy. <laughs> Love that girl. Make sure you have a, a mask on. It's better to have a ventilator, or, you know, one of those fancy masks. Okay, so this is the sea glass. Can you see that? Yeah, if you put too much additives in it, it doesn't cure properly. And here is the mermaid. Just beautiful. Without spilling it. These um, pigments are really nice in resin. I'm gonna start doing a little bit more resin art. It's nice and opaque. That's system three. Oh, it's just so pretty. Oh, it's got like a, a purple and teal shift in them. Very cool. And here's the Zeus. And I did mix a little bit of caramel drizzle in it because I had thought about using it in my test piece and I never did. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. So we're gonna put pour these all into a cup and then we're gonna put pour the cup onto this area here. Hopefully it's enough, it doesn't seem like it's enough. It's five ounces per square foot and that's one by two is two square feet. I know. It's the Baja Blue. See how transparent that is? It's a blue. I'm going to put just a tad into the sea glass. It's got so many cool effects though. Um, see, <laughs> you can't tilt it. So I might, I might be um, mixing some up right now.
got to try to make it look like a natural stone. Got too many curly, <laughs> curly cues in here. Uh, yeah, I need more mermaid and Zeus. Yep. Very cool. Yeah, way too much white. Not good. And I didn't even use that much. I'm trying to hide it now. All right, that's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. I'll show you when it is cured. Actually, when I take the tape off, I'll show you what, ha what happens to it. I gotta find something to put around here um, or I'll be chipping away at uh, um, resin. Oh man, that is really cool. It's gonna look different when uh, it's all done. <laughs> Much better than it was. So guys, this is the final effect. It turned out better than I could have imagined. So once I took the tape off, it dripped down and you probably shouldn't use plastic but I used paper towel and uh, like on the floor. And uh, I'm going to be painting these um, cabinets. So I'm so happy, look at it. Oh my God, it's so much better than it was. Are you kidding me? Look at all those pigments. It turned out, yeah. It's even better than getting a slab and at such a better cost. All right, uh, please be safe and cray. Please like, share, and subscribe. This was so much fun. Thanks for, for being here and ciao for now.